In this video, let us learn about operators in JavaScript. Operators are basically helpful to us to, in order to manipulate or validate the data in client side. So first let us try to learn about the arithmetic operator and in this first let us try to learn the plus means add operator. So in case we have to add two or more digits in JavaScript you can use the add operator and let me show you how to use that. So for this purpose what I have done is that I have created one sample page. Here is my page let me explain this code. In this HTML page we have two text box. First is txt a and the second is txt b. And then we have a button called uh, add. On click of the button we are calling sum method, sum function. And here is my sum function. In this function what we have done is that we have de declared a variable called a using var keyword and we have assigned the value with the value of the text box. So in order to get the value of the text box we write we first find the text box. So in order to find the text box or any HTML element using its ID attribute we use document dot get element by ID and then we pass the ID of the element. So in this case I am trying to find out the text box so I am finding the ID of the text box and then dot value. So dot value will give basically the text box value and then we have also got another uh, text box value called txt b and have stored into the b variable. Now because this a and b will be integer because that's what we are going to add here. So first we will parse them to the integer uh, number. So in order to parse what we do is that we use pass int uh, function of javascript. So we have written pass int and the a means the value of the first text box plus this is the plus operator or add operator pass int and b means the value of the b text box and we are storing those additions into the result variable and then we are going to show the result in the alert. Now let me run this page and show you how it is working. Oops. Uh, sorry let me save it and then view in browser and here you can say that a so I am writing for example 5 and then b is 4 now I will click add oops sorry looks like oof, there was a typo here yes so let me refresh this page again and 5 plus 4 add and you can see that I am getting 9 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So this was the add operator. Similarly we, ha we have subtract operator, arithmetic operator, multiply and divide. So I am not going, going to cover all of them because all are almost similar. The only change is that instead of plus if it is divide then we have to write forward slash, if it is multiply then we have to write asterisk mark, if it is subtract then we have to write the minus. Now there are some other types of operator as well for example increment operator okay. So in this uh, let me show you an example. So let me go to the increment.htm and uh, here what we are doing is that we have a text box called txt a and we have a button on click of the button we are calling increment a javascript function and this javascript function we are getting the value of the text box and it is storing into the a variable and then what we are doing is that we are parsing the a because this is this will be naturally a simple string so we have to parse them to the integer so we are using using parse int uh, function to parse the string to the integer and we are storing to the result variable and then we are using plus 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 will basically add one to the existing number so if my uh, text box value will be 5 then plus plus will add 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 so the result value will be 6 it is as good as writing result is equal to result plus 1 so either you write this either you write this or you write this 
both will be same so instead of writing this much of code just write result plus plus and that things will be taken care now let me show this uh, example so here for example I have 10 now when I will click on the button it will increment by 1 and it will give me alert as 11 and similarly we have uh, operators for minus minus that, that is decrement operator division remainder operator and so on now let us try to uh, learn the assignment operator so for that I have a, a sample page called assign value let me go ahead and show you that yes now here what we are doing is we have again two text boxes A and B and we have a, uh, a button called assign value and on click of the button we are calling assign value function and in that function we are first getting the value of the first text box then second text box and then we are converting the string to the integer using pass int uh, function and we are storing to the result variable so here what we are doing is that we are basically adding them and we are assigning to the result so this is equal to is basically called as the assignment operator and then we are giving the alert I think uh, this is pretty simple because we have already covered uh, the plus and uh, other operators so it is almost similar you can see that it is being assigned to the result variable and ultimately result is being alerted in the browser now in the same way we have this also uh, add and assign let me show you that so yes now in this what we are doing is that first we have a text box called txta and we have a button uh, called add and assign value and we are calling add assign value javascript function and when this function will be called first we are retrieving the value of the text box and storing to the a variable and then what we are doing is that we are declaring another variable called result and with the 5 value and here what we are doing is that we are assigning the value of the text box plus the value of result and again storing into the result variable itself it means that it is as good as writing result is equal to result plus parse int of a so either you write this result plus equal to parse int a or you write result equal to sorry result plus parse int a both are similar instead of writing this much of code you can simply write this code now let me run this page and show you this so now for example I have written here 6 now when I will click add and assign so what will happen is that this will a is 6 so 6 plus result is 5 so 6 plus 5 is equal to 11 so result will uh, will have the 11 value and when uh, this this uh, line or this particular line will execute it will give me the alert 11 you can see that it is giving me alert as 11 similarly we have comparison app operator as well for example if you want to compare whether left side value left, left side variable value is equal to right side variable value or not then you can use double equal to so let me so let me show you an example here in this space we have two text box the first text box is enter uh, value and then we have another text box called enter value to compare let us name it differently and then we have a button called compare and on the click of the button we are calling the function called compare here and here we have defined the compare function now the value of the text box is being stored into the a variable the value of the uh, second text box is being stored into the b variable and here we are checking for the equal to compare uh, operator so we, we are writing if a is double equal to b then we are saying alert give me alert as equal if not then give me alert as not equal so let me show you this now first value is 5 and I'm saying enter value to compare is 6 or maybe let's say 56 now I am clicking compare naturally it is not equal to so I will get a message called not equal now if I am writing 56 here also then 
it is naturally equal so it is giving me equal as the alert similarly you can have you can use the other uh, com compare comparison operator as well now we have logical operator so let me show you the use of logical operator so i have a demo page for this now this is the demo page here what we have done we have again the two text box and in the first text box i want user to enter 5 in the second text box i want user to enter 6 and then i have a button called compare and on the click of this button we are calling this function and in this function we have retrieved the value of both the text boxes in a and b uh, variable respectively and we are checking if a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 6 then write correct if it if it is not then write incorrect now let me go ahead and show you this in the demo so i am writing 5 here and i am writing 6 here so it should give me correct see that's correct but if i will write for example 7 naturally both conditions this condition and this condition will not meet means will not be true so it should give me incorrect you see that it is giving me incorrect so this is the logical operator called and where we are checking if the if both the conditions or more than one conditions are true then only go ahead and execute the next statement of the conditional statement otherwise go to the else block